Good morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer on this Wednesday morning. So glad you're able to join Tom and I with Resurrection Lutheran Cooperative Ministry. It's just a way, great way to start the day. Um, I have my morning tea. Hope you have your morning beverage and uh, let us begin. O oh Lord, open my lips and my, my mouth shall declare your praise. praise. Glory, Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light, and our life. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it. And his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light, and our life. O come, let us worship him. Our psalm today is Psalm 89, verses 1 to 18. Your love, O Lord, forever will I sing. From age to age, my mouth will proclaim your faithfulness. For I am persuaded that your love is established forever. You have set your faithfulness firmly in the heavens. I have my, made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn an oath to David, my servant. I will establish your line forever and preserve your throne for all generations. The heavens bear witness to your wonders, O Lord, and to your faithfulness in the assembly of the holy ones. For who is the skies? can be compared to the Lord, who is like the Lord among the gods. God is much to be feared in the council of the holy ones, great and terrible to all those around him. Who is like you, O Lord, God of hosts? O mighty Lord, your faithfulness is all around. You rule the raging of the sea and still the surging of its waves. You have crushed Rahab of the deep with a deadly wound. You have scattered your enemies with your mighty arm. Yours are the heavens, the earth also is yours. You laid the foundation of the world and all that is in it. You have made the north and the south. Tabor and Hermon rejoice in your name. You have a mighty arm, strong as your hand and high as your right hand. Righteousness and justice are the fountains and foundations of your throne. Love and truth go before your face. Happy are the people who know the festal shout. They walk, O Lord, in the light of your presence. They rejoice daily in your name. They are jubilant in your righteousness. For you are the glory of their strength, and by your favor our might is exalted. Truly the Lord is our ruler, the Holy One of Israel is our King. <coughs> Let us pray. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. Mighty God is fulfillment of the promise made to David's descendants. You establish oh you establish uh, a, <clears throat> a lasting covenant through your firstborn son. You anointed your servant Jesus with the holy oil and raised him higher than all kings on earth. Remember your covenant so that we who are assigned with the blood of your son may sing of your mercies forever through your son Jesus Christ our Lord. Uh, Amen. Well, we continue to hear what's going on in Job. Okay. Then Job answered. Um, whoop. Then Job answered, Man, that is the born of a woman of, of a few days and full of trouble. He comes forth like a flower and withers. He flees like a shadow and continues not. And dost thou open thy eyes upon such a one and bring him into judgment with thee? Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? There is not one. Since his days are determined and the number of his months is with thee, and thou hast appointed his bounds, that is cannot pass. Look away from him and de and desist, that he may enjoy like our hurling his day, hurling his day. For there is hope for a tree, and if it cut down, that it will sprout again, and that its roots and its shoots will not cease. Though its roots grow old in the earth and its stump die in the ground, yet at the scent of water it will bud and put forth branches like a young plant. But man dies and is laid low. Man breathes his last, and where is he? As waters fail uh, like a lake, and a river wastes away and dries up, 
so a man lies down and rises not again, till the heavens are no more, he will not awake, or be aroused out of his sleep. Oh, that thou wouldest hide me in Sheol, that thou wouldest conceal me until my wrath be past, that thou wouldest appoint me a set time and remember me. If a man dies, shall he live again? All the days of my service I will wait till my release should, uh, should come. Thou wouldst call, and I would answer thee. Thou wouldst long for a work of thy hands, for, thou, for then thou wouldst number my steps. Thou wouldst not keep watch over my sin. My transgression would be sealed up in a bag, and thou wouldst cover over my iniquity. But the mountain falls and crumbles away, and the rock is removed from its place. The waters wear away the stones, and the torrents wash away the soil of the earth. So thou destroyest the hope of man. Thou prevailest forever against him, and he passes. Thou changest his countenance and sendest him away. His sons come to honor, and he does not know it. They are brought low and perceives it not. He feels only the pain of his own body, and he mourns only for himself. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thank be you. to God. Our second reading comes from Acts, beginning with verse 18. Now when day came, there was no, uh, no small stir among the soldiers over what had happened to Peter. And when Herod had sought for him and could not find him, he examined the sentries and ordered that they should be put to death. Then he went down from Judea to Caesarea and remained there. Now Herod was angry with the people of Tyre and Sidon, and they came to him in a body, and having persuaded Blattus, the king's chamberlain, uh, lane, that, uh, that asked for peace, because their country depended on the king's country for food. On an appointed day, Herod put on his royal robes, took his seat on the throne, and made an ordination to them. And the people shouted, The voice of a God and not of a man. Immediately an angel of the Lord smote him, because he did not give God the glory, and he was eaten by worms and died. Mm -hmm. But the word of God grew and multiplied. And Barnabas and Saul returned from Jerusalem when they had fulfilled their mission, bringing with them John, whose other name was Mark. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Hmm. Always give God its glory. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. Grant merciful, Lord, to your faithful people pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve you with a quiet mind. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. O Lord Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. In all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be, be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. 
Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you for joining Tom and I on this Wednesday morning in the 16th week of Pentecost, after Pentecost. And hope you'll join Pastor Matthew this evening for evening prayer and hope to see you tomorrow morning. God bless you and have a great day. Bye-bye.